Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this 320D M Sport Saloon, finished in mineral grey metallic. This car is a September 2020 registered vehicle. Only two options set in this car over the standard specification, so it's actually quite nice to run through and highlight some of the key standard specification, because there is a lot of it on this latest G23 series. So from the very front, We've got the adaptive LED headlights as standard, so that's the main beam as well as the dip beam. Adaptive functionality works in conjunction with the steering wheel, so as you turn the steering wheel, the, steer, the lights basically adapt to the steering wheel input and that basically helps brighten up the road ahead of you. Fantastic system on some of these dark country roads we have around here in the Lake District. Moving around, we've got the 18 inch M double spoke alloy wheel. This beautiful bi coloured finish, so we've got this diamond cut front face to it. And that's sort of the darker grey inlay there, so it really makes the wheels pop and stand out. One of the options selected, so there's two. One is the mineral paint finish, the mineral grey metallic. And the second being the sun protection glass here, so the rear tinted windows. Also gives element of privacy for the rear of the car. And there is a UV element there as well. So it does help keep the cabin a bit cooler on the hot days, as well as protecting the rear passengers from some of those harmful UV rays. Moving into the boot, sprung loaded so I can just unlock it by the key like I just done and the boot will rise up on its own. Into the boot we've got that split folding seat arrangement, that 40-20-40 split way folding seats. It's a very handy lever isn't here on the left and the right so you can drop those seats down from the back of the car. You large items you're putting in, you don't have to move around to the rear of the car to drop those down. In the 20D, it's a fabulous 2 litre diesel engine. Obviously, mate, mated with the 8 speed ZF automatic gearbox as standard. Just stepping into the vehicle, we'll start with the rear. A fabulous black Vanaska leather throughout, and some lovely, nice grey contrast stitching. Some nice stitching for the centre of the seats as well, just showing off some of the details you get. And rear headrests are folded flat at the moment. They spin round and raise up so you have got something in the back and you can get a nice comfortable head position with those. You can see in that door card there, we've got some of the ambient lighting that works, that, that blue strip of light. It's very customizable. It can be altered to different colours through the iDrive system and there's also some warnings as well which they flash if you've got a door open, things like that, some, some lovely visual indications for, with that system. Rear passengers also benefit from some ventilation controls. It's a full free zone system in the BMW 3 Series. So full zone options there in the rear. It's the front, it's got the window controls there, full electric folding mirrors as well as heated, now standard. I was thinking about the button there, operated by the key, and they can also just be set up by the iDrive system. So as soon as you lock the car, the wing mats, wing mirrors will automatically fold in. Obviously, being the M Sport, we've got the fabulous M Sport seats. It's lovely side bolster support. We've got airbags in those, giving real, real nice, comfortable position. And yet again, showing off all the detail with the stitching throughout the seats. Stepping into the car. We've got the BMW Live Cockpit Professional ahead of us, the full digital dashboard, which that really springs into life when we start the car like so. Very customizable, lots of different ways you can get this set up. Um, obviously the center there, we've got a map view, you know, that can be basically blank, or you can have it as a list view as well, so when you've got the navigation working, it's give you a list view, um, basically a list of your next directions, turning, junctions, things like that. On the right then, we've got the different Options, you can use the BC button on the indicator stalk to toggle through different bits of information, media information there, driving information, fuel economy, miles, power, there's also a G meter as well. Lots of different ways to get that set up. Basically, for you really, meet your needs. Across the central screen, we've got the latest BMW OS 7 operating system. So we have these different pages of information which you can set up and customise to basically show and give you the information that's relevant to you that you want to see. 
You can see it's a full touchscreen capability as I'm using there. There's the fabulous BMW iDrive dial with a touchpad on top, as well as the fantastic Hey BMW voice activation. Obviously, you've got a full large screen version as well, so you can zoom into a bigger version of the map. And that will actually zoom in again in a second to create almost a full screen. There we go. Also, full real-time traffic information with that navigational system. Moving down the vehicle, I've got the full dual zone climate control. As I said it's a free zone system in the free series of standards, so single zone in the rear and dual zone in the front. Obviously, heated front seats, three way heated front seats for both front passengers. Got your favourite buttons there with some of the media controls. Moving down, got a lovely soft touch drawer here that opens up, reveals obviously the two cup holders. There's a 12 volt socket there, as well as additional USB, and a handy storage place there for your mobile phones, keys, wallets, things like that. As I mentioned before, we've got the fabulous 8-speed ZF gearbox. Full automatic 8-speed gearbox. You have got a full sport and manual mode as well, so you can flick it across to put it into the sports automatic. And then if you use the gear selector to choose your gears manually, or the paddles behind the steering wheel. As I mentioned, there's the iDrive dial as well with the touchpad on top. Got the full automatic handbrake with auto hold functionality. So different driving modes, which are customised, where you can set these up to basically work for you. Moving back up to the central screen, putting the car in reverse there, we've got the front and rear parking sensors, as well as reversing camera as standard. You've got the visual indication here for the parking sensor, as well as the audio tone. I've got the guidelines there on the rear reversing camera. I've got a full park assist functionality as well, so that's where the car will help you parallel park or park into bays, and then reverse assistance as well. So by selecting that, you can basically um, get yourself into a tight situation can get the car to reverse up to you for 55 yards um, you just control the acceleration and the brake pedal and the car will do all the steering inputs based on the steering inputs you put in going forward so a very clever intelligent system moving over to the steering wheel we've got the cruise control speed limit control here on the left got the voice activation phone answering buttons here menu options on the right there you go, I've got to mention the BC button before on the left hand side there. That's at the top, and underneath we've got the adaptive high beam assistance. Um, as you can see, there it says functional acquirable, some of the new things we'll see on BMWs going forward. So, because you've got adaptive lights as standard on the 3 Series, if you wanted to, you can actually purchase the high beam assistance functionality through the BMW Connected Store. So, basically, that's pre built into the vehicle. So, if it's something you'd like, you can also just download that via your Connected Drive Store. Finishing off, this car has got 5,905 miles on the clock. As I mentioned, it is a September 2020 registered vehicle, and this has been an ex daily rental lease car, so a multiple occupancy vehicle. I hope this video has been of use. If there's anything further we can do to help, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.